Welcome back to Amazing Websites Television. This is Ernesto Verdugo and this is the show where intelligent people like you can find the tools to change the rules. Amazing Websites Television. This is Ernesto Verdugo and I am very, very happy to be here on episode 330. Wow, this is really exciting. And we decided to actually make this episode extra special. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about uh, social media and airlines. Uh, possibly one thing that you didn't know about me is that I used to work for KLM Royal Dutch Airlines and I am very, very uh, much in love still with, uh, with that company. It's a, it's a fantastic company. I had amazing time working with them and uh, one of the things that I really, really liked was how innovative they were always on their marketing. And uh, also, I mean, there's, there's. Uh, I think this episode is basically a tribute to all the great things that KLM has actually done, and also compare it with social media. I mean, I actually started compiling all the information, and then suddenly I realized that I could actually do one full episode only on the great stuff that KLM uh, was doing. So we're going to be learning quite a lot of things about how airlines are actually using social media. Uh, we're going to be learning about some great apps. We're going to be learning about some great websites. But before we actually get with the show started, what I want to show you is one of my favorite uh, viral marketing videos that were actually made by KLM before the internet. And actually, even with that, imagine how good the advertising was that even though that there was no internet, the uh, advertising was viral all over the place. So please take a look. cool don't you think I really used to love uh, that uh, commercial from the Swan I really thought that it was very very uh, different from what other airlines were doing that were actually just selling you on their features or other destinations or the uh, how much the seat would actually be reclining and uh, I really like how KLM is doing things still and uh, I am very very grateful because actually because of KLM I have managed to uh, visit so many countries I was traveling all over the place when I was with them and it was just an incredible experience so uh, in order to actually say thank you for KLM let me share with you another great video that they're actually doing right now because they just got one million friends and uh, fans in uh, in Facebook. So just please have a look at this short video on how they're actually implementing and using all the um, uh, talent and all the, the, the great uh, working atmosphere from all my ex-KLM colleagues and uh, see how they actually are implementing it now on their social media. Have a look. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, KLM fans. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Merci. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. That's my journey. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you! Caleb received the uh, royal stamp of approval on October 7th, 1919 and actually was the first airline ever uh, to fly the skies. Uh, they started flying with a route Amsterdam to London and then afterwards they started growing and growing and growing uh, to fly to all sorts of destinations all over the world. It has been an airline that has always been very, very innovative and uh, actually we can see how innovative they still are. Uh, on something that they have recently implemented on their services. And I think you're going to find this service very, very interesting. So take a look. KLM Meet and Seat. A new service to see who else is on board well before departure of your intercontinental flight. Simply connect with your LinkedIn or Facebook account to view other passengers' profiles. Get in touch with interesting people. Meet in reality at the airport. Or during the flight. With Meet and Seat, you can meet other travelers and add interesting new people to your network. Also, after your flight. Make your flight a journey of inspiration with KLM's Meet and Seat. What an interesting concept, don't you think? I have not tried it yet, but I'm sure that it's going to be very, very interesting. Now, uh, we're going to go to our next section of the show, which is going to be our special guest. And this time, on this section of the show, we're going to be having Marie O'Riordan. Marie O'Riordan is uh, an amazing human being and is a great uh, media teacher that has incredible information to actually share with you. So let's just go now all the way back uh, to the studio with uh, Marie O'Riordan. On this episode, we have an amazing person for our interview that I think that you're going to really, really learn a, a lot from. She's not only a very, uh, a very incredible professional uh, and uh, a powerful lady, but she's also a very, very kind and uh, a nice uh, human being. And uh, uh, she actually just won an award uh, for her charity for actually giving used iPhones uh, to Africa, which is, I think, a very, very nice um, uh, charity cause. And uh, her name is um, her name is Marie O'Riordan, and uh, she's an expert on uh, media. And um, well, Marie, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's wonderful <laughs> it's, it's to a, be it's here. It's a pleasure. Mr. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, Thank I am you. always very very impressed to see all the things that you ha that, that you are doing, all the places that you have been going, all the people that you know. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit? Well, first of all, tell me a little bit about your background so that uh, people will understand. Uh, why I'm always very uh, uh, positive and so impressed about what you have done. I appreciate it and thank you. It was interesting in the introduction that you said nice. I hear nice a lot but it's interesting because in many areas of the world where I go they think that nice isn't good for business. I've been described as too nice whereas I believe I've been so incredibly successful because I really care about people mm -hmm. and now they look at me and go oh maybe their personality could do with a little bit of a tweaking and yeah. a gauge up you know. I, I also say very kind human being <laughs> that's where I <laughs> was going. You. Oh no no <laughs> I, and, and I, I really appreciate it but it's one thing I picked up in business business especially you're very clued into that yeah. and uh, you know if anyone ever describes you as being too nice it's not a bad thing I think it's actually a really good thing Absolutely. so I appreciate it and thank, thank you. you I guess the background oh wow I've been doing this since I was a child Ernesto and the momentum it keeps growing and growing and I just keep pushing the boundaries and here and thank you for allowing me to push the boundaries again here in the Middle East and I really enjoy it and coming back so I started off in radio when I was 13 and I moved into TV at 14 and I became an award-winning filmmaker at 15. Um, there are some highlights, you know, by 20 I was reporting as a journalist for CNN. Uh, 22 was uh, into philanthropy um, as well. Again, I started in charity when I was about 16. And um, there was an interesting experience with Mother Teresa because I went to volunteer in the slums of Calcutta for a month and I made a documentary in my spare time. 
and it turns out people say coincidences but I don't believe in coincidence so there were a series of events that happened and it turned out at the end of the day that the last interview that Mother Teresa gave in her home in Calcutta before she died back in 1997 was with me so this wow. was this young 22 year old kid journalist who had this phenomenal experience and I think that helped to shape who I am and you know the momentum grew from there that I really wanted to help people and show them that there was a way in media that they could help themselves, help their families, help their business and I've just been taking that to new levels around the world and I've been very fortunate Ernesto because now up until today I've worked in 26 countries around the world. Well that is fantastic. Um, what, uh, what specifically is what you're uh, focusing on uh, media and helping companies? Yeah, the most important thing is you know, people talk about connections and there's the new social media now, which is the new evolution and the revolution in media. And I'm really seeing right now the connection between all of us at home, whether we're on our cell phone, our mobile phone, or on our computer, that we're the new generation of journalists on the ground. So there's a huge revolution in media right now. So how you can empower people, and the best tip I give people in business right now, is for them to have and tweak the mindset of a reporter. So that's one of the elements that I teach. It's very important in this economy right now, because of everything that has happened, to reinvent yourself. And I've reinvented myself over and over and over again, and I will continue to do so. So now it's like a news angle. My angle now is really into customer retention as well, so that you can have huge online and offline persona and visibility. Because you know yourself, you have to have so many different elements so that all the pieces start to come together in this great synergy and great bond that you can start building your business through expertise in a number of different areas. And when they all come together, the magic starts yeah. to flow. How, how does that differ, uh, differ from uh, branding? Because I think it is, uh, it is an important thing. Sure. I mean, when you talk about online and offline persona, I mean, possibly it's a term that uh, it's, it's common for us to understand, mm -hmm. but I think people need to understand uh, how do you actually put that or, or how mm -hmm. would you put it into the branding part That's of their right. business? I think there are, there are different elements to the categories because I see branding as very different from marketing, as very different from public relations, as very different from media. I actually put them in separate boxes. Mm -hmm. Other people mash them all together and I think that's why they have some issues and some problems when it comes to getting into the media because they don't quite see that there is a distinction for me because I've worked in the media from the inside out as opposed to learning it out of a book and looking from the outside in. So to me it's very, very different. And branding is very, very important. You are a genius when it comes to websites. I've been following you for much, I mean for an awful long time now. You. And you know, you're a great advisor to me and, and thank you for, for all the help and the assistance. And, and even doing this show, it's something that I recommend. Because even right now, Ernesto, you are the brand of you. However, this video in itself is helping your, uh, your persona and elements of this can go into online and offline because offline people start talking about this, they start sharing this, not just even on the internet. So it becomes broader. And when I talk about offline as well, it's, it's basically just say, you know, even the community here in the Middle East, as soon as someone hears the name Ernesto Verdugo, it's like, Wow, I know that guy. Why? Because of your online persona. Mm -hmm. Do you see the mix? Yeah. And this helps relationships in business when they see that you're not just online, but you're offline. You're dealing with real people who have a real and true connection and opinion about you. And that opinion matters because when that's out there, it stays with you for the rest of your life. Yeah. And now with the internet, it's, uh, it's uh, permanent. So, of course, that's how it works. Great. Um, I think there's a, a lot of uh, that people can learn from you. Uh, where do you think? Uh, where uh, where can we direct our uh, viewers so that they can actually connect with you? I really appreciate that, and I know particularly in the Middle East. What I'll say also and firstly is I just want to thank you. And you know, if there are people who feel a resonance with what we're doing, uh, basically to contact Ernesto, I do have a website as well, and they can take a look at idealbusinessintelligence.com. That's idealbusinessintelligence.com because I really resonate and feel that right now with reinvention that intelligence in your business is going to help you win and stay ahead of the pack. Fantastic. Well, Marie, thank you very much uh, for being in the show. And uh, now, guys, it's time to go to triple your internet intelligence. Want to know the lowest available fare on KLM flights?
Just send a tweet to KLM Fairs and we'll send the information to you automatically. You can either use it on your mobile device or computer. Several variations are possible. You can tweet the following options. For example, Amsterdam, New York. And we will reply with the lowest available fare in one minute. Or you can look for fares from New York to Madrid in a specific month. Use the link to book your flight on klm.com. A third option is from A to B with the outbound date and return date. So try it yourself. Send a tweet to KLM Fairs. And now, our feature presentation. The best days and times to travel? Let me give you the rundown. Absolutely set your alarms for 4 a.m. for that 6 a.m. flight, right after lunch, and right after dinner. Don't forget to overnight on those red eyes. You can always save money. Cheapest days to fly? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Wednesday is the absolute cheapest, but the holidays are different. On Thanksgiving, fly early, say Saturday, and leave late on Tuesday or Wednesday the next week. The cheapest holiday flights? Try traveling on Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Day. You can save hundreds with less hassle. And we continue with this tribute to KLM and social media. And uh, on the next video, I'm going to be showing you how also KLM is using apps. So it's not only using social media, but it's also using apps. Now, the question is, how can you actually improve the, the use of your social media or also improve uh, your business by, by simply using apps? Let's just have a look at this video where uh, I will share with you how KLM is using a really cool app that uh, you can also download for free on the App Store and uh, always, of course, you will be branded with KLM. So have a look. already the app and it's absolutely great you're gonna really really like it so that's another very creative way in how KLM is using apps in order to be in the mind of their customers and that right now I'm gonna show you another video that's absolutely mind-blowing of uh, something that they have done uh, in 2011 I mean this is already a little bit of an old campaign but what it did it was absolutely amazing everybody was talking about it so also the question is what can you do that you can actually get everybody of uh, every one of your customers talking about what you're doing? So please have a look. You're going to find this absolutely fascinating. Did you know KLM is available 24-7 on Facebook and Twitter to personally reply to all of your questions? No? Well then, let us give you a live demonstration of what KLM can do. KLM crew, are you ready to show how our social media service works? Okay. 
you can ask us anything. Request your favorite seat, rebook a flight, or get advice on how to take your pet with you on your next trip. Whatever the question, we'll do everything we can to answer within the hour. And of course, private messaging means that your personal data always remains protected. So, for personal service, the latest news and great deals, you can find us 24-7 on Facebook or Twitter. Now, go to our Facebook page to try out our service. And to win tickets to one of our destinations. You have to admit that this is absolutely really creative. I really like it. And of course, I mean, every time I see that, I really get goosebumps because, of course, I mean, I see all these blue uh, uniform people walking and I mean, I see the aircraft and I see all these things. And as I told you, I'm very, very passionate about uh, KLM. I still love it very, very much. And uh, I find it amazing all the things that they have done on the Internet and on social media. So I hope that you have really enjoyed this episode of uh, social media and the airlines. Uh, next week, we're also going to be uh, having part two of this series, which is also going to be on social media and the airlines. And we're going to be seeing what uh, Virgin, Virgin America is doing, how Southwest is doing and uh, how other airlines are actually handling social media. Also, a great guest, which is going to be a surprise guest that you're going to really, really learn from, and uh, a lot of very, very good uh, apps and uh, the rest of the content. I hope that you have really enjoyed this show. Please make sure to leave your comments just below this video. And once again, this is Ernesto Verdugo, and this is Amazing Websites Television, the show where intelligent people like you can find the tools to change the rules. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, Skibble Tower. This is KLM 164, reducing airspeed to 200 knots, descending to 1,000. Your hometown looks the same As I step down from the plane And there to meet me Is my mama and papa Down the road Cherries, it's good to touch the green.